स्टूडेंट्स जेई मेन 2025 जनवरी अटेम्प्ट इज जस्ट ओवर स्टूडेंट्स आर वंडरिंग विच शिफ्ट इज इजियर विच शिफ्ट इज टफ वॉट विल बी द एक्सपेक्टेड कट ऑफ फॉर द जेई एडवांस्ड वॉट विल बी द मार्क्स वर्सिज परसेंटाइल सिनारियो सो सो मेनी क्वेश्चन आर गोइंग थ्रू स्टूडेंट माइंड सो टूडे इन दिस सेशन विल डिस्कस अबाउट ईच एंड एवरी शिफ्ट इन डिटेल विल डिस्कस अबाउट ईच सब्जेक्ट इन डेट शिफ्ट आई विल टेल यू वेदर दिस शिफ्ट वॉज इजी मॉडरेट और डिफिकल्ट इन द एंड आई विल गिव यू द ऑर्डर ऑफ द टफनेस ऑफ ईच शिफ्ट एंड दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन द डेटा गिवन बाई आर ओन श्री चैतन्य स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट ट्वेंटी सेकेंड जनवरी शिफ्ट वन पेपर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद फिजिक्स पार्ट सो फिजिक्स पेपर वॉज इजी टू मॉडरेट बट इट वॉज वे बेटर दैन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर पेपर chemistry was again doable some questions were tricky but overall it was easy to moderate and maths was as usual moderate but lengthy calculations were involved there were scoring opportunities for the students if the students has selected the question well so overall the difficulty level of this paper was moderate and yes the cut off will be slightly higher for this shift now let's discuss about 22nd january shift 2 that is evening shift so physics paper was again easy to moderate very few problems were lengthy but mostly questions was asked that was formula based so it was normally easy to moderate paper chemistry was very easy like 2024 the all the questions were generally doable and directly from ncert maths was as usual it was uh, lengthy calculative few scoring opportunities was there but again it was a, it was a lengthy paper but overall this shift was rated as easy to moderate shift and it was easier than 22nd january shift 1 so let's discuss now about 23rd january shift 1 so this paper was better than 22nd january both the shifts uh, physics paper was better than 22nd january both shifts some lengthy questions tricky questions were asked but still the the, the paper was completely doable but still the the paper the questions was little bit on the trickier side chemistry was doable but some questions were tricky and tough and better than the previous both shifts and maths was again very very calculative than 22nd january both shifts so it was again a lengthy lengthy paper uh, some questions were doable like 7 to 8 questions but remaining questions were lengthy as well as tricky so this shift was rated as moderate to tough now let's discuss about 23rd january shift 2 so physics was the easiest of all so very easy completely formula based direct questions were asked just like 2024 still uh, two three problems were uh, on the calculative side chemistry section a was easy uh but section b was really tough so chemistry was difficult uh, on 23rd january shift 2 and maths was again moderate but very lengthy very calculative problems were given but there were some good scoring opportunities uh, so in short the difficulty level of this shift was moderate to tough let's discuss about 24th january shift 1 so this was among the one of the toughest shift uh, of uh, january uh, better than 22nd january both the shifts and 23rd january both the shifts so physics was Uh, some doable problems were there some questions were calculative but the weightage of the chapters was very unusual like more optics questions was asked and less of mechanics was asked chemistry again some very nice questions were asked physical uh, section the physical chemistry section was tough and more organic questions was asked so it was way more difficult and maths was again very lengthy very calculative and few problems were really tough and tricky so 24th shift 1 was rated as tough Now let's discuss about 24th January shift 2. So it was more or like on the same page as 22nd and 23rd January shift. Physics was a uh, little bit questions were tricky, uh, but questions were asked from the mixed weightage like mixed uh, questions was asked. Chemistry was again easy. Section B was on the little bit better side. Some uh, calculative questions were asked and maths was as usual again very lengthy. Uh, some scoring opportunities was there, uh, but this shift was rated as moderate. Now let's discuss about 28th January uh, shift one, and here comes the shock. This was one of the most difficult shift of January attempt. Physics was the most difficult, very calculative. Some out of the syllabus questions were asked. Chemistry was very good, good or inorganic questions. Some nice level questions were asked in 28th January shift one, and maths was again very very lengthy and tough questions were there. Few scoring opportunities was there, but yes, it was very lengthy. So overall, 28th shift one is the toughest out of all the. 10 shift 
So cut off will go definitely lower. Now let's discuss about 28th January shift two. It was more or like on the same page like 28th January shift one, still on the easier side uh, comparatively to 28th January shift one. But it was yes, it was the one of the toughest paper of January attempt. In fact, you can say second toughest paper. The physics was unexpected. Weightage was there. Weightage was unusual. Uh, optics questions were more uh, not mixed. Uh, mixed questions were not asked. Chemistry was uh, moderate side. Uh, and maths is very 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 lengthy and very tough numerical section was there so hence this shift is the second toughest out of all 10 shifts let's discuss about 29th january shift one which is the last day of your jm exam so in physics good conceptual questions was asked assertion reason questions were there some say it is one of the easiest shift but uh, i don't think so because chemistry was definitely easy and doable but numerical section was tough physics uh, good conceptual question uh, were asked and maths was as usual very lengthy but some doable questions were there so uh, overall uh, this shift was rated as moderate to tough so now let's discuss about 29th january shift to the last shift and this shift was again moderate to tough shift the physics was easy but some tricky and lengthy questions were asked as usual chemistry looks easy but it was very tricky some lengthy questions and some very tricky questions were asked and maths was again very very calculative very lengthy calculations were asked and section b was very difficult so this was more like moderate to tough but slightly on the tougher side now in the end let's discuss about the difficulty order in the decreasing manner so the most difficult shift was 28th shift one after this it was slightly easy 28th shift two then comes 24th shift one then 29th shift two then 23rd shift one after that 23rd shift two then 29th shift one then 24th shift 2 and the last two easiest shifts was 22nd January shift 1 and the most easiest was 22nd January shift 2. So students this was all about January attempt detailed analysis. I wish you all the best for your result and for your April attempt.